Welcome to The Drive Podcast. I'm your host, Peter Atia. If you like this video, please let me know by subscribing to the channel or visiting my website to become a member for more exclusive content. Stop thinking of sleep as something you have to do. Think about it as something you want to do. This is a performance enhancing drug. It's a performance enhancing drug. It's a life insurance policy. It is probably the most democratic healthcare insurance policy that you have or healthcare system. Sleep essentially is a life support system. And I've often described sleep as perhaps mother nature's best effort yet at immortality. If you look at the data, there is nothing <laughs> better that we've seen out there that could give you that shot. We've got lots of people trying to optimize different pathways, and I think that's great. I want them to keep sort of finding ways to modulate your metabolic pathways or your immune pathways or your reproductive pathways. But there is one thing that we know of that acts like a superordinate node in that biological equation of health. It's the Archimedes lever. And if you just pull that superordinate lever, all other things seem to increase. It's like that master volume button on a mixing deck that you see in the studio. You can manipulate each one of those dials, or you can go to the far left and just move that one dial all the way up and all of the other levers seem to move with it. Think of sleep in that way. It's so incredibly powerful. If you optimize sleep, you're doing as much as probably you can from the health regard standpoint in terms of increasing your insurance for a longer life. But I think what I've started to realize was, and firstly, yes, the shorter your sleep, the shorter your life. We know that short sleep predicts all-cause mortality. What I'm fascinated by and wanting to do studies on is looking at health span, not just lifespan. I would love to start looking at the data as to it may not just be that you live longer if you're sleeping longer, but you're living healthier in a longer fashion. And that can only be good for society. That's what we all want. We don't want to live a life that is full of sickness and disease. That's a miserable life. But what I also think is that it could be a huge cost benefit equation. If you were to think about the relief of healthcare burden that would happen if we could live longer, healthier by way of sleep, the cost savings could be enormous too. So I think there's lots of reasons financially for a country to motivate its societies to get better sleep. And the sad thing is, we just don't have any of that motivation at a government level. I think governments don't truly understand the benefit of sleep, the benefit both from the standpoint of economics. We know that sleep is wonderful for productivity in the workplace. But in terms of a healthcare cost savings for a country, we can estimate that too. And the reason I bring that up is, when was the last time you saw any major first world nation have a massive public health campaign regarding sleep? And we do that for lots of other things. We do that for drink driving. We do that for healthy eating. We do that for exercise. We do that increasingly now for mental health, but we could be doing better there. But there's nothing about sleep. And so I would love to think about trying to manipulate that too for the good of an individual and the good of a society and cost savings economically.